<laughs> oh yeah, we gotta do our thumbnail. This light washes me out. It's no bueno. I'm trying to think of our pose. You know what? You know, actually, for this thumbnail, I think I'm gonna just do Tucker. <laughs> Guys, urgent breaking news. We have to throw, we, we look at us. I didn't even do my hair. We're like, we gotta put a video out because, oh my god, the Tucker train has left the station. <laughs> Finally, somebody's playing BB in this house. We are on Big Brother this season because guess what? America's vote is coming into play, people. So let's go ahead and talk about yeah, that. Yeah, America's oh, vote. If you don't like spoilers, you seriously need to click off now. Okay. Come back we later. don't even have to say it. All of our videos are spoilers. But don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we would really appreciate it. The algorithm is just a big pain all across the board, all day long, every day. But let's talk about Big Brother. Yeah, and that's America what we're here for, is people. America is voting, right? Production isn't gonna like just pick who they want. No. Okay, oh, that <laughs> I really hope not. And I don't even know who to vote this. Uh, whatever. Let's talk about it. So. Some people on X are saying they hope that we actually. Oh my gosh, can I just quickly say the funniest turf war I've ever seen before? What? So all the live feeds and all of the Twitter feeds, it's like there's a division between Twitter Big Brother fans and Facebook Twi uh, Big Brother fans. No way. And the Twitter fans are calling the Facebook fans casuals and like they don't really understand the show. Like they're just watching the episodes. And uh oh. The Twitter is where like the hardcore fans are who watch the live feeds and we really know what's going on. And it's it's really funny because there's like this like social media turf war going on. Even though we argue amongst ourselves, like we stick together. And the Twitter fans are worried that the Facebook casuals are going to outnumber us and vote for someone stupid instead of making this fun. The Twitter Big Brother fans are hoping that we, like, we're, we're, we're all scheming. Like, so Corinne doesn't get on X, but <laughs> I watch X all day long, and we're all like, okay, okay, Twitter family, let's get together. Who are we voting for? Are we going to vote for Joseph because he's stinky and he gets in the way of all the good conversations? Are we going to vote for Quinn because Quinn thinks he owns the house and we're going to turn the whole game upside down? And then we're like, oh, God, who's Facebook going to vote for? They're gonna vote for like a like Rabina or something or Chelsea. Oh, that was a little terrifying. But let's go back to the beginning and, and let everybody like kind of recap everyone to where we're at, right? We now know if you've been watching the live feeds that Cedric is the H O H this this week. So he put on the block Angela Kenny, and then Tucker volunteered himself to go ahead and be on the block. Okay. So the veto competition happened today, and we found out that Tucker won the veto, which is super exciting. Finally, Tucker has got the game started and moving and fun. Not crazy, crazy fun, right? So not, like, not talk crazy, I'm talking about Angela. Anyway, so the veto competition happened. Tucker wins the veto. What he was going to do, we speculated maybe he might take Kenny off the block, but no. He was talking about taking Angela off the block, and he's hell-bent on putting Quinn up there to get rid of his power. And he's definitely going after Quinn, is well-known in the house. Quinn already knows it. The whole house knows it. All that jazz, okay? So now, Chelsea and, who was it? Oh, Brooklyn. They went up and got in Cedric's ear. Apparently, Cedric's a little bit easy to manipulate. Maybe he doesn't have much of a backbone. He is young and he is a sweetheart, but hey. Anyway, so he took their advice, and their advice was to put Mackenzie up, okay, instead of Quinn going up to appease Tucker's needs uh, because they don't, they don't want Leah and they don't want Mackenzie to stay. And lo and behold, that's exactly what Cedric did. He put Mackenzie on the block. Yeah, and it makes me wonder what the aftermath is going to be. And, you know, there's probably some live feed cameras that we haven't caught up with yet. Like, I'm trying to see, what's Tucker's reaction? I did see a video where Tucker was hugging um, Mackenzie and saying, this was not, this was not that my plan. That was plan. Like, yeah. That, he wanted Quinn. He wanted Quinn, and they flipped the switch, which is, you know, there's some gameplay. I think, you know, Chelsea's definitely playing the game as well. You know, and it's nice to see that we, we're seeing who the game players are now. I, I really feel like this week the game has actually kicked into gear, which makes me happy. I'm excited to see how things go. But, America, friends that are watching, who would you put on the block? Because the people that I want to go home are Angela and Kenny. I would literally vote Kenny. 
if he was available to vote, I would absolutely vote him because I do think Quinn made a huge mistake. If that mistake kicks him in the butt and sends him home, that sucks, but he really made a big mistake. It was so funny, though, when he was on um, the, the television show the other day. He was like, who would have thought that Angela would be the one that would be so crazy and just out him right away like that? And that, that was probably a, the worst game move of the season. But also, <laughs> being, Honestly. A, being a super fan of Big Brother... Quinn should have, should have also understood that being in 15 alliances was going to like come crumbling down. So like that's also going to come into play here. He's 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 in too many he's in too many groups. He's trying to keep too many people happy and now he's faced with an uncontrollable renom. All of us who are watching from home now have full control. And what's funny is when you're watching, I don't think either Quinn nor Joseph believe that they're going to be voted for as the replacement nom. And and those are the two names that are coming up the most. On Joseph? X. Why are people wanting Joseph? One of the things that they're talking about is that he just like he he just shows up in the middle of conversations that we want to hear on the feeds, and like he always pops up when he's not wanted. He thinks that he's controlling the house when he really isn't, and then they go on to talk about like I guess Decor had to spray his bed down because like he's stinky and his bed was stinky, and so she had to go like spray his bed down. And oh my. But and then the, then the Quinn. But train. they're not sending Joseph home for gameplay. They're just sending him home because the people in the house think he stinks. That's well, dumb. That, that's the last of the the reasons I just said. And, yeah, but I mean, but then because he's annoying, just like the same thing with Lisa. Like just because well, he's no, annoying, let's first, just go ahead and send him home. No, the very first thing I said was because he thinks he's safe. Like he he thinks that he's he's playing the game well, and he's got to think. And it'd be kind of funny to like give him a little wake up call. Like, I think that's mean. There's a lot of people in the house that think they're safe. Let's jump in on this poll here. So, who do you want to be the replacement nominee? Joseph. Oh, Cam and Leah are on there? Well, I mean, so, like, these are the people that I apparently are being discussed to go up on the block. Leah has been discussed to go on the block a lot of times. Cam is acting... Well, I mean, what has Cam really done? <laughs> See, in all honesty, that whole list there, I would actually pick Cam. Cam has all the potential to be, like, a powerhouse... Uh, player now maybe it's his gameplay to lay low for a little bit and then start kicking things into gear you know maybe week four week five um but it seems like he's really just hanging out with leah you know and remember his instagram he had a lot of followers so is he only there just for oh my gosh do so other you, people vote yeah for you, him or you, did you just know i voted for him but you, I'm the, <laughs> you picked like the least likely so well I, i'm just stating my case like i think I I heard Kenny say on the live stream, he was talking to, I don't know who, but anywho, what the hell? <laughs> who is that? Oh my gosh, remember that girl? <laughs> is that Sam? Remember she was that country girl? I don't think that's Sam. And she said, I'll knock, I'll knock you or something that's like that. That's not Sam. That really distracted me. The conversation... Oh, Quinn. Your conversation with Joseph just solidified that I'm voting for you to be the replacement. Don't mess with Tucker. Oh, boy. So, Kenny was talking about um, how the people in the house, a lot of them have been discussing how they just want to make it to jury. And he was specifically indicating that Cam is kind of an Instagram star. And he just wants to gain more followers and just be popular in that way. This is why I talk about people who go on the game just to be famous. They're not really going there to play the game at all, which is probably why you haven't seen a lot of people doing a whole lot of gameplay. <laughs> I think it's so awkward. Every single time Julie says to them that they have to actually strategize. She said that twice. He's smiling because we, we have a friend we want to share with you. Well, I was, I was told not to, not to let, and he just poked, he just poked his oh. head up. <laughs> We wanted to surprise you. This is Moose. <laughs> and Moose is a big Tucker fan. Yeah, because he likes big hair. Yeah, <laughs> he likes big hair. <laughs> he has blue eyes. Isn't he cute? All right. He's our new bunny. Um, an interesting conversation, just based off what you just said. Takor was just talking, but she was talking about how she's noticed that she has not been called to the diary room very often. She's taken it as a sign as that she's boring. And she wanted to come into the house. She says she's trying to emulate one of the players from season six, uh, but she couldn't remember who who their name was. But it was someone who, whose gameplay she enjoyed and um, lay low and then start competing at the halfway point. But now she's afraid that she's laid too low 
to the point where like no one even cares that she's there like she needs to start stepping her game up and doing more interesting things because she's become like too much of a floater so i was, I was glad that she's self-aware because i agree she doesn't seem like a floater to me she she does seem strategic to me but she's quieter and her personality doesn't really pop but i do think she's sweet just saying I mean, I didn't um, say she's not sweet, but she's No, boring. no, I said what I think. That's what I think of her. <laughs> and I think she's boring. So who would you guys think should go home from that? Or just in general, like, it doesn't have to be anybody from that list that was given there. Who do you think you would like to put up in Mackenzie's place? I actually was feeling that Mackenzie was playing a pretty nice game. I personally think she's keeping her cool. I think she's handled her power with grace. She's done her best, I think, under the circumstances. Mackenzie has a lot of a lot of uh, fans. I, she, I think she's the favorite. It seems like she's the favorite female in the house, unless you're on Facebook, where everyone's vote, vote, rooting for Angela. <laughs> They're rooting for Angela. Yeah. That's... I was just gonna say too, like that. But we didn't say it exactly in our last episode in regards to Angela and this whole situation with with the group that we, you should keep an eye on. That whole thing was so fake. She was so fake. <laughs> On the episode itself, she was so fake. That her her facial, her crybaby face. She's acting for sure, and she's a terrible actress. I talked about when she was eating her avocado. There were a lot of scenes where I felt like, and and to course took the words right out of my mouth that she was playing a victim, and she was. So what's going to be crazy is like what happens if Tucker does not win the AI arena because he used his veto to save Angela. And then now he's confident and thinks he can win the AI arena again. What if he doesn't? Can I just set an example here? I just I just want to say, or I want to give you an example. It's not okay for Quinn or Joseph to have confidence in themselves in this game and think that they're doing really awesome, okay? Because they're either stinky or stupid. <laughs> but Tucker's cute, charming, and a lot of fun. They both and he been ta- called and stinky. And he is playing the game. And he, he's, he's got it all going on for all of us. But that is a lot of confidence because you're right. This, this move, what's cool about what Tucker did is it was a risk. You know, it's a calculated risk. Is he a big dum-dum or not? Um, but let's just say Quinn goes up there. Mackenzie goes down and puts Quinn up and Quinn wins. Well, that, so like because the this game, was picked, they picked the America picked Quinn, and I think that's why everyone's really excited right now because this can like really turn into a bomb fire, like a bonfire, like really, really fast. <laughs> Tucker can end up stuck <laughs> on the block. They can vote Tucker out. Um, they've already used. They already put Mackenzie up to flush out the power. Now America's going to get a vote. So now there's a whole variable that no one even like. So America, that's your strategy. Don't put someone up there that you think is going to kick Tucker's butt. And Joseph and uh, Tucker were talking, and Joseph was like, wow, you like really shook the house up this week. And he goes, he goes, well, he's like, I would rather, I'd rather play bleeping Big Brother. And, you know, like he doesn't care if he gets sent out of the house if he goes out like making big moves and playing the games. Like, aren't we here to play the game? Like, why are we here? I'm here to play this freaking game, so let's go. Oh, wow. This is going to be a very interesting Big Brother week. And, um... I'm telling you, because I'm bossy today, make the decision, because I know you guys all like Tucker. So if you want him to stay in the game, you might want to pick Joseph. (laughs) I don't know. Or Leah. But Leah's proven to be pretty smart in some of these challenges. Like, she has come close to winning before. So... Do people yep. want Joseph out? So that might be a good choice. Maybe that I would get on board with you guys picking Joseph if that was your reason, not because he doesn't take showers and he makes bed bugs, or that he doesn't brush his stash. Did you see this? What? Cam and Leah are arguing, and Cedric is hiding behind the chairs. <laughs> they're <laughs> arguing. Ooh, I want to know what they're arguing about. And he was, like, hiding behind the table so we could listen to him. <laughs> That's smart. That's what I would do. So the last <laughs> the, the last update that we have is our fantasy football, our fantasy big brother. If you remember from our last update, Corinne was winning 16 to negative 1. Yeah! Like, uh, let me figure, let me pull up our, our teams real quick. Like, this is just, like, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I, I would agree with you, to be perfectly honest with you. It, but, you know, like I'm winning, so I'm not going to get too mad. <laughs> I felt so confident about my team. Like, in the beginning, I was like, look, I'm like, I've got some really good players. But the way things are playing out, being nominated doesn't necessarily hurt your team. Because 
if you pull yourself off, if you win veto, if you win the AI challenge, if someone else uses their veto on you, that all gets you points. Last week, all three people are on her team. But then they all get <laughs> points for winning vetoes, getting pulled off. Like, she ends up scoring, like, 12 points because everyone saves themselves. Hey, I didn't make the scoreboard. <laughs> As of week two, Corinne has 24 points. Yeah! Um, <laughs> and I have three. So I went from negative one to three. <laughs> and, like, if you look at the score sheet, which, I, you know, I can't, like, go too crazy, but all the action, this is Corinne, all the action is happening on her side. Look, down on my side, it's like nothing's happening. Like, my people aren't doing jack jittily nothing. But the crazy thing is that they actually are. I mean, well... Because I got Tucker, Tucker, is, Tucker is. but Tucker keeps nominating himself, which loses me points. Like, he's like, oh, put me on the block. No, that <laughs> makes me lose points, you Tucker. And then he wins the veto. I would normally get points for that. No, he gives it to Angela. Guess whose team Angela's on? Five points for that. He's keeping Angela. This is stupid. Just let the kid go home. Fantasy Big Brother is stupid. I'm going to stop calling her the kid. She's a kid. She acts like as a kid. Kenny's the only person that lost you points this week. Thanks a lot, Kenny. Because Cedric wins head of household. I'm like, oh, I finally got five points. But then, nope, Tucker, volunteering. <laughs> this Stupid. is actually so funny. Oh, my god. So it's 24 to 3. And I started counting up the points for next week. And she is going to jump even further ahead. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So there's our fantasy update. And, you know, pay attention to the fact that I took the time to, like, desaturate the people who've been evicted. Isn't yeah, that nice? that's impressive. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, until next time, guys, this is just a fun little update here. Um, we will see you soon, probably, like, in the next day or two, because things are happening constantly right now yeah. in the house. Now the game is kicking in gear, so we have to kick from gear. Too. Are you not entertained? <laughs> You're being that guy from Ghosts. <laughs> I love that show. And I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> oh, wait, you are talking about the Viking. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's another great like, show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much. Make sure you stick around, hit the subscribe button and the like button, and we will see you next time. For every person who subscribes, I get three points on my fantasy team. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. Bye, guys. Oh, we should take a picture. <laughs> oh, yeah, we gotta do our thumbnail. This light washes me out. It's no bueno. I'm trying to think of our pose. You know what? You know, actually, for this thumbnail, I think I'm gonna just do Tucker.